On Earth, we take air for granted. In space, each astronaut must be supplied with 1.85 pounds of oxygen per day, 365 days a year, to avoid suffocating. In the very heart of the ISS is an unassuming machine about the size of a trash can. It's this that holds the secret to keeping astronauts alive. Incredibly, it generates oxygen from nothing more than water. So what happens is you have some water, you uh, feed some electricity through that water, and the electricity will split that water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen comes off as bubbles at the positive electrode, the hydrogen at the negative. But again, being in space turns something that's straightforward on Earth into a major engineering challenge. The bubbles of gas won't come out of the water. In your high school chemistry lab, the, uh, the gas just bubbles up to the surface because the gas is lighter than the water, and therefore it goes up. Gas is not lighter than liquid in space because gas doesn't have any weight and liquid doesn't have any weight. So you produce gas bubbles and they just sit there. And what we generally do is we, we centrifuge it. So you spin it all around and the liquid being denser, it doesn't weigh anymore, but it still has mass. So it's denser and it goes to the outside and you can then separate the liquid from the gas. The hydrogen gets thrown away, gets pumped into space, and the oxygen is used for the ISS air supply. There's enough capacity on board to generate five to 20 pounds of oxygen a day. More than enough for the crew 